Hello and welcome to the presentation of the Varus socket. I want to show you today how to handle the dunning and doffing of the Varus socket as a user. At first, yeah, I will get the prosthesis with the socket and on the outside of the socket you see two dots. Yeah, that's the closing and opening mechanism of the socket. When you pull it, you are able to open the socket, you can widen it. And then it's easier for the user, for me, to dun the socket. At first, when it's opened, you slide into the socket and when the connection is there, that you feel, oh, you are in the right position, then you hear a click noise. I do it again. Yeah, a clear click noise. And this is the trigger for you as a user that you are sure the process is in the right position. After that, you sit in a normal, comfortable upright position. The shank is falling down straight and then you push the button to the socket and can starting the tightening. Yeah, and the tightening in a comfortable way, not too tight, not too loose, that you feel a circumferent pressure or contact which gives you a comfortable feeling. After that, you can try to stand up. Um, please take care that you stand safe. Yeah, standing up in this way. Yeah, and loading the procedures a little bit. Yeah, and if you feel that it's too loose, you can tighten it a little bit more. And after that, try your first steps. Proceeds forward. This is the way how to done the procedures, walk a little bit, and it feels absolutely comfortable. I can show you, you can stand on the procedures. It's really easy to stand and do weight bearing. Um, to control the procedures is also possible very good. After that, I go back to the chair, sit down and show you how to duff the procedures. Again, you have to open the closing mechanism, pull away the lateral wall, pull the procedures or the socket from away from the liner, from the stump, and then it's done. Totally easy. The advantages of the virus socket for me as an active user are really that weight bearing is absolutely comfortable. No hard edges, absolutely control. If the control is not good enough for me, or if I have stump volume changes, I can tighten the socket a little bit more to have better control or better fitting during the day. But for the low active users, it's more important that the socket is flexible, no hard edges, has the ability to do loosening or tightening of the socket during sitting, dunning, doffing during sitting, and especially during dunning and doffing the noise feedback that the process is in the right position. It's absolutely necessary.